All right, well, we'll set the ram upside down. We'll set the contraption up for holding the tenths indicator to measure the parallelism or coplanarism or whatever the technical term is for that face to the back face. The back face is the one that's scraped. So we're tracking along. We've zeroed it in the middle, which is the lowest point. And if I track along towards the front of the machine, there's a gradual climb. That's half a thou. That's three quarters of a thou. That's eight tenths. And then we bring it back. That's our zero point. That's a third of a thou. And then this just this last little section just creeps in again a bit. So we've got somewhere in the region of uh, eight, between three quarters of an eight and eight tenths of a thou, um, which is a little bit under half of what I originally measured. Now, albeit I've changed the uh, DTI, shouldn't make much difference. They're not they're not calibrated as such, but you know, it just means that I've took out a chunk of the wear on one side, and now I've got to do the do the same on the other side. Um, so I'm going to map it out with a pen, um, which will give me a section in the middle, about th just over a third of it, which won't be scraped until the ends are brought down, so the ends are then parallel, and then I can start looking at a print. Look. Well, my camera assistant has uh, <coughs> disappeared off to play. Um, long and the short of it, having checked back through the video of earlier uh, recordings, when I first measured this, there was about a thousand to a thousand and a half variation across those measurements. Having scraped the far side and now remeasured, I've got eight tenths, a consistent eight tenths at this point, six seven five down to zero so there's quite a rapid change there and then i've got zero 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 one two two and zero the tenth so um not not too much heavy scraping to start off with in so much as eight tenths is three passes at most if i don't lean on it too hard so we'll do a few scrapes, bring it back into parallel and then start printing again. I won't bore you with all the uh, repetitive video, so uh, hopefully when I bring you back we'll be back in parallel and starting to look at a print. about three hours no two hours two and a half hours um got the surface starting to come in now that's the end point of the um straight edge so that's the last bit i've got to bring in once i've got the rest done so that's been using a 50 mil radius Bit. I'm going to switch it round and put a smaller radius on and start breaking up the surface again. It's a little bit heavy in the middle, which is actually had the least scraping, so I've obviously got a bit deeper on the outsides. Maybe when I take some of these high spots of that down, I'll need to dig out a bit more in the middle. It's coming a lot quicker than the previous, so either I'm getting better or uh, it was a stroke of luck. That's the end of the uh, Sandvik scraper. That's the insert that goes in. 
the bottom edge is what I've been using and it's pretty much as supplied. The top edge is ground to a near as damn it 25mm radius. It's hand ground so it ain't going to be absolutely spot on. But uh, i got a couple of radius gauges and what's that one? 26. Pretty good. So we'll fit that and uh, break up the surface. It's now three and a half hours. It's lunch time, and uh, that's not far off done. Take a bit of the bit of the high spots down now. As you can see, there's a bit of a stripe running, which I think is well, it's been created by me trying to take the edge but missing and getting a bit further in. Certainly my technique's improving, still having trouble going uh, across the way, so doing that sequence. If you look at the scratch marks, you can see lovely and even going that that way, like that, and the crap going the other way. Better than the were though. So I'll do another, another breaking up on this section. And then bring in the last bit, last bit. I think probably be done then. I'll check the uh, check if it's parallel again. It should be. <laughs> well, I think we're gonna call it a day. Got broader contact areas, evenly spread. I haven't quite worked out how you do, how you print the whole thing all at once, but uh, if I print this separately from this end, I get well, obviously better coverage here because there's ink on the stand, but um, all, it, it's pretty much matched up. So I'm happy with that. I'll stick my template on and have a couple of counts, and uh, but my my gut feel says it's. Uh, Good enough for fitness for purpose. <laughs>